So for the last few weeks, we've been just kind of barely getting vlogs up in time and it's been kind of stressful. So we, we've taken the last four days in Marrakesh mm -hmm. to just kind of catch up on the entire thing. And it feels so good to finally be caught up. Yeah, or ahead even. Yes, ahead. Yeah, so we've been going out a little bit uh, in the afternoon and evenings and exploring Marrakesh bit by bit. Uh, have not been filming it, we just haven't really been feeling it. But uh, today we're going to show you hopefully a little bit more of Marrakesh and we're going to the, where are we going? Bahia Palace. Yeah, so that's like the royal palace here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll check it out, we're really excited. Researching. Yeah. So this palace is from the 1860s. Mm -hmm. The Vizier of Morocco mm -hmm. um, built it to be like the grandest palace of its time. When he died, his son made it even more grand. <laughs> and then built rooms for his four wives and 24 concubines. That's crazy. Yeah, you get one wife. <laughs> That'd be too much to manage anyway. <laughs> and it's actually empty now because it was looted mm -hmm. um, and was just kind of occupied by warlords and then the French for a while. Mm -hmm. And the fact it's empty is, it's, it actually makes it feel pretty weird. Mm -hmm. But the building itself is still completely intact and it's covered in this beautiful tile work and I'm excited to explore it a little more. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're just, there's just so much color and different designs and... The tile work is just... It's so impressive and it's all over the ceiling. It's really cool. And they do like a step on it. <laughs> they do like a step on it, Tommy. <laughs> Thoughts on the palace? It was really nice. I loved how quiet it was. The last couple of days we've just been like surrounded by these crazy noises <laughs> and it's just nice being here and it's just silence. You don't hear anything from the outside. Let's see, it did end up costing seven times more to get into than what was advertised. Oh. Online they said 10 durham, which is about a dollar. Uh, it ended up being seven durham. It was eerie yeah. walking through there. It felt almost like a ruin but it was also so empty and, and well-maintained that it wasn't a ruin. Yeah. So it was kind of interesting, but now we're gonna go try to find something to eat because Tia's stomach is a little bit upset today and uh, catch up with you guys there. Out of 
favorite spot again. This is like our fourth time here. <laughs> this is seriously, oh, it's really hot. This is seriously <laughs> the best mint tea I've ever had. And this mint tea actually in Morocco, it usually has um, caffeine in it because they use gum powder tea, which is like a regular green tea. And then the mint, just straight up mint leaves, and they soak it in there. And a lot of sugar, what I'm guessing is yes, a lot of sugar. So much sugar. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Everyone calls it Moroccan whiskey. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> so I love Moroccan salad. It's just so fresh. They put like lime juice and salt and pepper and it just feels good to eat more salad than we have been. We're eating healthier here than we have on whole trip. Yeah, we're eating so healthy here. Look at this. This is so good. <laughs> so good. We're doing the happy dance today. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. We've been to that place like four times. The guy is so sweet. The guy is really, really nice. Every time we order something, he gives us like one little extra thing on it. Yeah. Really nice. Always gives us the correct change back. <laughs> yeah, he does. I just can't get over the life of this place at night. It just awakens and everyone's just so active and like happy and yelling and... I wish we could capture it on camera better, but like so many people here are kind of sensitive to being filmed. We want to be kind of... Yeah, courteous. Yeah, acknowledge that. Yeah. So we can't like capture a lot of what we're seeing, like the guys with monkeys and cobras and all this stuff. Neat fact about Morocco, the tuk-tuks... We call them tuk <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> it was about ten dollars. We didn't really talk the guy down because I feel like that was ultimately a pretty fair price anyway. So why haggle? But, you happy? Tia's stomach still isn't feeling great. I think we're gonna cut this one a little short. Good night. Good night. Tia's face still isn't. My face? <laughs>